Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Dead Cells. And since the last time I recorded, the Elemental Update has launched for everybody, and it's time to jump into the game with the new version. So, I'm going to go ahead and start again, because if I resume a current run, it would just be a run at the start. Mostly, I'm just losing out of the gold that I had from the last run. At least, I think we won't have that gold. We'll find out here in a second. We're going to abort our current game. And let's see what this new update is all about. This will be my first look at it. I'm really not sure what to expect. Now, I did get a number of achievements popping up on the screen. I don't know if that was a thing before. I'm guessing it was just giving me things for achievements I had already unlocked through the normal course of play. It does look like it to get the advantage of the gold from the last round anyway. And let's take a look. Okay, so there's our map. Here's our standard thing. So I get to keep my runes. Fine rune, teleportation rune. None of that is gone. We have all of the progress still unlocked. Although I am curious. Some of these items I am not familiar with that are in the jars. I don't believe. It's possible they've changed the icons for some of the items I'm familiar with. The main one uh, that I see right next to the biter swarm. Just to the uh, top left of that. I'm not familiar with that icon at all. So we'll see if we can figure out what that is. Maybe it's just something I'm forgetting. But we're going to go ahead and pick up our torch. And we're going to pick up our frost blast as well. Not a big fan of that uh, in particular. But I think I'd rather have that than just the basic wooden shield. And this is new too, I believe. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And see what we've got. So... According to this, total number of runs is two. Uh, whew, I know that's not true. So maybe it's not been tabulating uh, things from earlier, I guess. Uh, that makes sense to a certain extent. I'm not exactly sure why it would have recorded the previous two runs, except for the fact that maybe those two runs were done when the update was still being worked on, so they were still tabulating that information, perhaps, although the most gold hold held at any time, 863 is what I just picked up. So this is not really... Having all that information yet, as it says, I have zero deaths, and I know that's not true either, but I will start tabulating that stuff now, I assume. All right, well, in any case, let's go ahead and get in here. Now, I do like the torch because it adds the burn effect onto people, and that is one thing that they have modified. It looks like uh, the graphics for that have perhaps changed a little. Ooh, look at that. I like that. Okay, we have some chicken. So that's uh, something a little bit different. I'm expecting a little bit of balance changes here and there, and this might be one of them. Normally, you encounter carrots and things like that. Okay, we're going to have to dodge out of here. I'm hoping that fire will take care of... Well, not quite, but a couple more thwacks here should do it. Okay, nice dodge roll. I'm going to have to get back on my toes and back into this game. But I love that effect, big time. Oh, and we've got another torch here. If we wanted to have uh, dual wielding torches, there would be no real point to that though because they're both level one. What if we didn't already have a torch? Looks like we have ourselves a shop. Ooh, this is very different. So they've changed the normal shopkeeper. to this guy now. Okay. What do we have up here? Nothing really, unless there's a secret or something. Nope. Okay, so it looks like that fire effect happens whenever we use the torch. I wonder if we're going to get the same thing with the electricity, because that is one of the things that they've changed a little bit. Okay, just go ahead and stomp on that guy. So it's good that we got the torch, because that's going to be a big part of the newness of the game. Oh, I did see the secret there. All right. Normally, I go for health upgrades, but I think I've changed my strategy a little bit. I'm going to go with strength upgrades. I want to be able to do more damage. I could use this secret. I mean, I, I'd like to see what the difference is in this version, but I think we're just going to pass it by for now because I'd ideally not want to do have any damage to me. 
seeing if there's any enemies we can pounce on. All right, we've got a curse chest. Now is the best time to do this if we're going to do it. So, you have average the gods. Take one little hit and you're dead. Eliminate ten enemies to lift the curse. Oh, we get uh, cells from the chest now. That's different. Okay, long dive attacks cause the ground to ignite. So this is a new effect. And I'm not exactly sure what a dive attack is. Unless that's a ground attack. Let's uh, let's find out. Yes, it's a, it's a ground attack. Or what was previously called a jump attack, but that was actually somewhat confusing, so I'm glad they've changed it to dive attack. Oh, you know, I should have taken advantage of that while I could. Okay, take care of that guy. But it has to be a long dive attack, so again... That was something that was confusing uh, with the previous version of the game, is it would say jump attack, but it was specifically for longer jump attacks. If you just did a short jump attack, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't work. So, I'm glad that they clarified that. That was just something that I think, it's just a clarification thing. And this good game, one of the things I love about it, is how good of a job... Ooh, this is different. A kebab. Okay, so that's another thing that would give us health if we wanted it. Uh, it looks like it gave us the same kind of health that a carrot would have given us before, so... I have to be mindful that I have the curse. I've act I actually almost forgot about it. Alright, so we have ourselves our first item, which is just a bear trap, but it's also going to apply flammable oil to the victim upon de deployment, which is new. Okay, and it also launches two traps. So they they uh, definitely balance, balance this up a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'll go ahead and pay the gold here and get ourselves another strength up. So right now, strength is our big strong suit. So if I get another level up, I'm, I think for sure going to take health at this stage. Oh, okay. So I do have this guy. Now... In my previous playthroughs, we never really saw him again, and I think we were supposed to, and he just never showed up for me. Because that's what happened when I was playing the game in the pre-release version. Let's go ahead and talk to him, or at least look at him. So this is the guy that you meet the first time you do a run. He's dead. Am I supposed to press a button? And that's recent. What's recent about it? The promenade of the condem condemned is... Is the death recent? I guess we hit the A button to speed it along. Ah, we kick him in the gut. Oh, interesting. And we get ourselves a blueprint for the broadsword. And we get ourselves a big fat gem. He's dead. Okay, so A button progresses through the dialogue. Good to know. Maybe they should have had that up on the screen. Ooh. This is an item we're worth getting because it's going to give me a second life. So that if I make a silly mistake, like I am apt to do, <laughs> we get ourselves another life. Now that is 3,000 and I could have just smashed the door, but that would have been a heavy curse. Now this is going to replace the golden amulet we have. But that's okay. And let's just go over it again. Saves your life once. Does not work against curses. So if I were to die right now, it would not work. Which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to smash the door. Because uh, I would get a extremely long curse. I think at least 40 last time I played. And considering that we only have to kill two guys to get through this curse, I think it's doable. Okay, this looks like it might be our alternate exit. But let's check it out anyway, because there might be something cool over here. Okay, it doesn't look like it. So we're just going to go ahead and go through. Now, I am taking my time here. Looks like they changed the vine, too. That looks a little bit different. I mean, I'm aware that this game is still in early access, but it definitely... Ooh, we don't want it to take any, uh, an easy hit here. Okay, there goes the curse. 
Now we can take hits. Not that we want to, but in theory we can take hits. Okay, we've got an ice grenade, and ooh, we gotta go over there, so let's... Okay, Biter Swarm. I think this is one of the best items in the game. I'm going to go ahead and remove the Ice Grenade because the Bear Trap is a higher level anyway, and it looks like they've definitely buffed the Bear Trap. So I want to experiment with that, play around with it a little bit. I have to remember I have it, of course. That would be nice. As a matter of fact, let's throw it out now. And so the oil probably would have given damage up on the fire. I didn't really need it, though, because we just jumped on him. And this is going to be our other alternate exit. Yeah, we're not going to take that, though. I think I'm just going to go to the... the standard exit. Which is the Promenade of the Condemned. Because I'm still getting my bearings, I think, with the game. All right. So now we have the broadsword available. It might be worth getting. As a matter of fact, I have another item, a number of items that are probably worth getting. So a damage buff, we do that. I'm tempted to get the broadsword just because... I feel like I was closer with the healing potion upgrade. I wonder if they expanded how much you need uh, for that. And we've got our damage buffs. Looks like they kept our damage buffs. So, oh, I wanted to see what this was. The Nutcracker weapon. So we have this weapon, although I don't recall ever getting it. We also have a balanced blade. That's new too. I mean, again, I have the blueprint for it, but I, I never really did unlock it. So those are going to be weapons that we get to experiment with later. Oh, because I only have a level 1 torch, and I would like to up my... Well, I suppose going to be an upgrade over what I have as far as the, the freezing thing. So let's invest a little in that. I'm not going to be able to get it, though. And then we'll put one over here in the potion. So we didn't really unlock anything. But that's okay. We don't need that because we didn't take any damage. Alright, I don't know how I necessarily feel about this run. We didn't get that many level ups in the previous level. I got a heart, so that's going to save us, but... We've got good damage. I mean, that's the one thing we have going for us. So that we can jump on guys like that. Okay, and we have ourselves a new blueprint, Spartan Sandals. Okay, that's new. Alright, I mean, the damage we've got is really good. I missed there. We're gonna... Let's get him up here so we can at least burn him. Like that. Alright, I took a little bit of damage there. Okay. And I have to remember to combo my torch with the oil that we have got in the bear trap. We can do here. I mean, I'm sure I would have killed them in two hits anyway, so I'm not sure if that was worth. Let's go ahead and take this. Hmm, but there's no teleporter in here. I'm going to hate going this way. Yeah, there is. Okay, so this is a shop. Fortunately, we don't have much gold, so we won't be able to take any of these things. And the main thing I would want is a scroll of power, which would level us up. So we're going to come back here for sure if we get enough gold. Okay. Throw that out. Throw that out. Ooh. Okay, we've got a shield somewhere. 
All right, we don't want to aggro these guys until we find the shield, which looks like it's over that way. Hmm, that's going to be tricky to get to. Um, maybe we just throw this out and that out. See what we can do to distract him. Okay, then I don't know if the biters were getting through the shield or if the shield was just not active when they were attacking. All right, so two hits normally would not kill one of those guys. I just wanted to kind of confirm that. I mean, the, the fire killed them, but I just wanted to see if I was correct with that assertion. All right, that's going to be a tricky jump. We'll do that in a little bit. And just drop down. Easy enough. Got ourselves our chest. Alright, we got ourselves a horizontal turret, level 3. And it poisons victim. I think I'm going to remove the bear trap. As much as we have synergy with that, I just think it's, it's something that I'm not going to easily be able to utilize. And the horizontal turret could serve us not only against normal enemies, but it could also serve us against bosses, so... That's why I'm going to go forward with that. Alright, so they're going to make me do the tricky platforming here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I meant to double jump there, but that worked out alright. Get our teleporter activated so we don't have to do that again. Okay, we do have a skill up. Might as well go kill this guy. Alright, get our skill up. So we do a little bit more damage. Let's throw this out. What's going on there? Oh, you have to be close enough to it for it to work. Okay, that's definitely new. Interesting. A little bit less cheatsy. I don't know if I can actually easily kill that guy. Alright, so... Interesting. I can even see the beam off of it. Alright, well, that is very different. Okay, well... We're getting there on the gold. I don't want to go over there just yet. That turret's going to take time to get used to. I kind of like the way that works, though. Uh, it prevents you from just dropping the turret down somewhere that's, you know far away. I mean, you can still kind of do that with the these guys to a certain extent, because they don't need to be near you to work. So I still think that the biters are very powerful. But here, I have to stay within proximity for it to work. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I actually dropped down there on accident. Looking down. Alright, we already checked out the one area. I think they've changed some icons on the map, too. I don't remember the orange icons, although that could have been something that was there already. Okay, this should be easy enough. Shouldn't take damage here. That bit's going to be a little bit harder, but just a little bit of a jump. Okay, come up here. Now, with this guy, you can't really do that, because he'll just teleport to you. I think the fire killed him there. The little bird thing. Bat, whatever it is. Okay, we got a new weapon. Twin Daggers level 2. This is a weapon we're familiar with. Fires an air in front of you. I think we take this, even though I love the fire. On the other hand, we could remove the Frost Blast, because I'm really not using it. But I think that's just going to confuse matters. Okay. You know what, I've actually changed my mind, because I realize that the Twin Daggers have a ranged element to them. So we're gonna swap a -roo that. So now, why is my Twin Daggers? Okay. 
there. So we got him with the arrow there. So, I mean, it's kind of a range attack. It's not a very effective one. But if I find a better range attack, I think I'll swap it out. See, that doesn't do a ton of damage, even though we do have a damage upgrade. In there, we're not close enough. And they can still attack it, even though... <laughs> trying to just climb a little bit down the ladder but they've kind of changed how some things work seems like you can't just ah, I knew it was going to get hit by that I feel like they made those guys a little bit more threatening than perhaps they used to be Granted, if I had the electric whip or a throwing knife, that would be a lot easier to deal with. Hey. Okay. Oh, we do have a better range attack, maybe. Oh, this is not ideal. Okay, and the fire took care of that. Alright. We took a little bit of damage. Probably shouldn't have. Fire might kill him. Although, I'm not sure. I'm trouble. Trying to get... Alright, well, one thing that they've changed that I'm just now noticing is you can't really walk through enemies like you used to be able to, because that was something I was trying to do there, and they were actually stopping me from moving. Okay, we got ourselves a new weapon. Alright, now we can come up and kill this guy properly. So that was a, a dangerous... Ah! Time my, my jump roll wrong. We're gonna have to use our potion here. Okay. What do we got? Blade level 2. Carefully balanced to allow consecutive rapid strikes. So this is a very new weapon for me. Dealt damage times 2, received damage times 2. Well, we're trying to go for a build where we're not taking any damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up. And we are going to replace the torch. So it's like a normal dagger that just attacks extremely quickly and it kind of has like a big combo move. One thing I do like that they've changed is now that there's a times two above my head. So I know that I take double damage. Okay, it inflicts a critical blow when you strike at close range. 50% damage on a poison target. Well, we do have a way to poison with our turret. So I'm going to take this because it's a better range attack than what we currently have. Let's go over here, even though I know it's just going to be an alternate exit. Yep. Okay. And the fact that we're very leveled up in our damage means that we'll do a ton of damage. The downside is with that times two that will take a ton of damage and we have no health upgrades. So this could be a very dangerous run. One hit dead. Wow. So this is a great example of something, the, the birdie things could really be a problem for me because... Okay, that didn't kill him in one hit though. Interesting. It's specifically the our close combat weapon that does the double damage, though, so we have to keep that in mind. Just go ahead and just lay into him there. Okay, we just found his range and moved away. All right. Should be getting close to the end here, as there's nothing down here. So as far as this run goes, I'm, I'm very pleased with the damage we can do. And this is going to be our other alternate exit, which I'm not even going to bother exploring. Let's just go ahead and move on here. 
Oh, I forgot about the shop. Well, that was a mistake. Whoops. We could have leveled up our health. I should have done that. Well, I kind of forgot about the shop until I'd already gone into the exit, unfortunately. Oh, well, uh, I think this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. Unfortunately, I only got 19 cells in that run, but I think that's one thing that they have rebalanced. It was fairly easy to get sometimes 60 cells. Granted, that's when you go to the other pass, so perhaps going uh, either the the sewers or the Oser area, I'm sure I still am mispronouncing that, are your ways to get a lot more cells. Promenade, probably not as good for that, so that's something to keep in mind. But we did manage to get a blueprint, so at the very least, this run, you know, is accomplishing something. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.